Well, in case you hadn't heard, Navy is hosting Notre Dame in a football game here October 27th. And because Notre Dame is battling for a spot in one of the top bowl games, this matchup has national championship implications. It also brings together a mighty football power in Notre Dame with the institution that quite possibly saved the school from going out of business altogether. Navy and Notre Dame met on the gridiron for the first time in 1927 and they faced each other every year since. Notre Dame's next opponent is once beaten, but always drunk at Navy. Not now in a quarterback. Passes to Anderson, who laterals to Dick Panford for Navy touchdown. Luke Reichy was a head coach, and that's, that's when it started. I think they played in Baltimore. Notre Dame really didn't have a stadium, so they were usually on the road. It's the longest running, uninterrupted, intersectional rivalry game in the country. And it'll be the 92nd consecutive year, and it's gonna be right here in San Diego. When Notre Dame Stadium was opened in 1930, it was dedicated before the game against Navy. In 1941, just before World War II broke out, U.S. Admiral Chester Nimitz established an ROTC unit on the Notre Dame campus. When the war began, Notre Dame, which was an all-male school at the time, lost so many students who went off to defend the nation, the university's existence was at risk. They were on the verge of closing the doors in 43, 44, and Navy came to them and said, you know, first of all, we need more space. We need to uh, put through more lieutenants. Uh, how about if we use Notre Dame in the campus and we'll pay you for the students? So really Notre Dame at that time became uh, Annapolis West for three years. And it, and it really literally kept the doors open for Notre Dame. And Navy moved in and basically took over the school and made it an officer's candidacy school. It's estimated that Navy's V-12 program at Notre Dame turned out 12,000 officers between 1942 and 1946. And the university opened its labs and classrooms to the Navy for officers in training to study whatever would help them win the war. Navy not only moved into the facility, but they built. They built dorms, they built buildings, they built auditoriums. They did all of that kind of a thing uh, for Notre Dame, and then they just turned it over to them. It was a gift. And at the end of the war, when they no longer required all the additional officers, the kids came back, they went to school, and uh, Notre Dame survived, and they've never forgotten it. In 1963, Navy quarterback Roger Staubach, who would go on to win that year's Heisman Trophy, led the midshipmen to a 35-14 win over the Fighting Irish. Navy would not beat Notre Dame again for more than four decades, 43 consecutive Irish victories. Lawson pump fakes, moves up, moves up, throws across the middle, catch made by Kidd at the 15, out of attack, looks at the 10, diving to the end zone, touchdown Notre Dame! In 2007, that epic streak came to an exciting end, with Notre Dame threatening to win on the final play of the third overtime. In motion, the tight end right to left, sharply pulls away, hands it to Travis Thomas, runs it right side, he'll be stopped! It's the win! Despite its inseparable ties to the Navy and San Diego's large Navy community, Notre Dame has never played a football game here, and they've never faced Navy west of Chicago. The ties that bind Navy and Notre Dame are still very strong. Notre Dame has a thriving Naval ROTC program and hosts Office of Naval Research classes. So the only time these partners in patriotism oppose each other is on the football field, as they have since 1927.